newly elected Pakistani president Asif Ali Zardari has warned U.S. that violation of country's sovereignty would not be tolerated at any cost. In his first address to a joint session of the parliament as president, Zardari has made it clear that Pakistan will not allow militants to use their soil for carrying out terrorist activities against any foreign country. Vowing to combat the menace of terrorism, President Zardari also asked the government to hold a joint session of the lawmakers to review national security strategy. We will not tolerate the violation of our sovereignty and territorial integrity by any power in the name of combating terrorism. Repeated airstrikes and incursions in Pakistani tribal areas by U.S.-led forces have fueled the tensions between the two major allies of so-called war on terror. Despite repeated condemnations by both government and military against violations of the borders, U.S. forces are continuing to target the civilian population under the pretext of hunting down Al-Qaeda and Taliban-linked militants. Calling the statements of President as a bunch of promises, the second largest political party of former Pakistani Premier Nawaz Sharif's PMLN says that Zardari's speech has fallen far below the expectations and wishes of the people of Pakistan. Well, it is a routine speech. The speech promised much. Uh, it uh, gave us very, very little. Uh, the people of Pakistan and this country are facing major problems. Unfortunately, none of them were addressed. So um, one can only hope uh, that the better sense will prevail. And maybe the government of the day comes out with a policy vis-a-vis -vis the serious problems that we are facing. According to Foreign Affairs Ministry of Pakistan, the President Zardari is expected to meet his U.S. counterpart, George W. Bush, in New York on 23rd of September to discuss Islamabad's role on the so-called global war on terror. The two leaders will meet on the sidelines of United Nations General Assembly meeting, which begins on September 23. This time, the Pakistani president has come with another set of public commitments, but people are desperate to see his past assurances to reinstate the deposed judges and to return country's constitution to its original shape. Nasir Kazmi, Prasti, Vistanabad.